I'm Laura, I'm an artist, and uh, my practice has to do both with sculpture and photography. So I tend to make objects and then photograph them in different environments. I've spent my whole summer pickling plants. Art is messy. Can't make clean art. I've been collecting flowers, plants, weeds, bits of trees from around the neighborhood and uh, preserving them in jars and different glass containers. I walk by a beautiful field, a uh, vacant lot full of weeds and bees buzzing and crickets chirping and all that kind of stuff, birds looking around for worms, and I think that's gorgeous. It's interesting to me um, through this project really looking at what's considered a weed and why and what's actually a plant that people want. I think another important thing to know is that you can make art with whatever you have. Um, I find a lot of my jars at thrift shops where people give them to me, like old spaghetti jars or pickle jars. Um, so, you know, I don't have to have fancy perfect jars. I can use whatever I've got around. Well, I come from a long line of scavengers, savers, um, tinkerers, and makers. So uh, it's kind of in the blood. My grandparents were a big influence. They grew up during the Depression. They were a little bit older. And so they saved everything. And my mom was the same. So everything would get reused and recycled and made into something else. And so uh, I grew up with the idea that everything could become something else. And we didn't have a lot of money. So often, if I wanted to make a dollhouse, if I wanted to have a dollhouse for my stuffies or whatever, I had to make it myself. And that was great training for being an artist. I don't make work about my own personal life. I'm very interested in using art as a way to investigate the world around me. It's a sort of a, a lens or a pair of glasses I can put on and see the world around me and I can translate into art. You have to be pretty stubborn. You have to be pretty um, convinced in what you, you're, you believe and interested in the world around you. If someone has a tiny spark inside of them that says that maybe they can be an artist, they should definitely pursue that. They should keep a very open mind. So art, it can be painting, it can be dance, but it can be a whole bunch of other things like making art out of trash or picking weeds, pickling them and taking pictures of them. Mm -hmm.